Hi, this is Mark Mosier. I'm here with Tim Thompson. Hi. And uh, looking at his fabulous, what would you call it? What did you? Multi multi touch touch is multi, the working title. Multi multi touch touch, which is a uh, uh, connect using a connect as a controller for, for music and probably other things. But I'm going to let him go ahead and explain the system to you. Okay. So I'm just experimenting at the moment, and, and this is what I've got working so far, um, just to see what kind of space um, I can explore here. Uh, so we have a connect over there and a frame, and the connect is very good at detecting uh, 3D input. And so I've got some software here. It's, it's based on the connect um, SD, uh, not the connect, the, uh, the Cinder SDK. Um, making use of the open source connect uh, libraries. And so I've got it set up so I can essentially have any frame with holes in it. And once I've set that up and put it in front of the connect, I can then identify the, the areas of the frame um, that I'm interested in. So I'll put my hand there and you can see the, uh, the image detected that area. So I can establish whatever holes in the frame um, I'm interested in. And then from then on, each of those holes becomes a separate multi-touch surface. Uh, the depth, I've got limits on the depth, so it doesn't detect anything until I get close to the, to the frame. And once I get close, then it's sending uh, raw OSC messages over to some other applications written using KeyKit and um, running some soft synths uh, to actually generate the sounds. But the, the actual program here just puts out OSC messages uh, as they occur. And I'm using the OpenCV image processing library to do all the blob detection. Uh, so you can see in the image down there the, the blobs that are being detected. Uh, right now, I've got it set up so it's there's no quantization in the the pitches or the timing. Um, so now I can just get kind of washes of sound. Kind of treating it like a theremin, uh, but as you can tell, every uh, area can be a different sound. So, as I said, each area is being treated as a separate multi-touch surface. Here we've got any number of multi-touch surfaces. It doesn't have to be f four of them. There could be any number. Um, they could be circular or you know, any, any shape. So right now from left to right is pitch and vertical is velocity or something? Right. All the interpretation of the, the OSC messages, which send up X, Y, and, and depth, all the interpretation of that into pitch is being done by a separate program. And, and currently it's pitch. Pitch from left to right, and uh, velocity on the notes is the vertical dimension. So, and then you have a dashboard over here where you can determine, um, you can configure each pane so that it does different things, like uh, it has different resolutions and different depths and different scales. Right. So, I'll start turning on the um, quantization and and other. Um, thing. So first I'll, I'll turn on scale adjusting, so now all the notes are forced onto a particular scale. With quantization, right? Yeah. Uh, currently there's no timing quantization yet. Uh, I'll turn that on in a second. There is uh, a quantization in terms of the, the distance I travel, so you can see it is, it's not changing until I move a certain distance. If I turn that, that threshold um, down, let's say to zero, now, now I, can bear, I can't even hold my hand still enough to avoid. Uh -huh. So there's various parameters that control you know, the playability or the, what, the effect you're after. And you can also do quantization for uh, timing as well, right? Right, so let's turn that on. So there you can tell that it's been quantized. Right. Oh, that's great. <laughs>
the, the other feature, of, uh, there's lots of features of the software, but I can turn on looping. Um, so I'll turn on looping for... So now this quadrant, quadrant is looping. Mm -hmm. But the other quadrants aren't. You're just taking this to Burning Man, do you think? Uh, yeah, one of the target uh, uses of this is <laughs> for a Burning Man installation. Uh, and you can imagine. I, mean, I think of it as great for a casual instrument that people can just walk up to and, uh -huh. and play. Uh, and I've done a number of those kind of things at Burning Man, so this is the next. And I think for me as a performer, I think that there's a lot of applications here, especially if I can you know, get a hold of this dashboard in, uh, and be able to manipulate that in real time and reconfigure what it's doing on the fly or from song to song and load patches and things like that. Yeah, I think there's a lot of potential. Um, uh, I haven't yet uh, hooked it up to drums, but that's a natural. Mm -hmm. um, and so, again, this, this is being quantized. Um, And the, you can have any, you know, any number of, of people playing it simultaneously. So mm -hmm. the, the, the name multi multi touch touch does show the fact that it, we can have any number of hands. And if it is capable of detecting the individual fingers. The depth resolution is depending on where you put the thresholds. Um, and it tracks the blob so you can see it. Uh... It's awesome. <laughs> well, hey, well, thanks for showing it to us. Sure. And if anybody has any questions, we'll just send them to your website and uh, uh, they can come to Burning Man and play it, right? Hopefully. Yeah, the, the, um, the first place where I'm going to be showing it is at uh, Stanford. They have a do-it-yourself instrument tailgate party, um, so I'll be showing it there. Okay, I'm going to try playing the multi-multi touch-touch. Here we go.